Baroness Jones of Moulscombe. I beg leave to ask the question standing in my name on the order paper. My Lords, it is not correct to suggest that there is no such established funding mechanism available. Police and crime commissioners can apply for special grant funding to help meet the additional costs of unexpected events, including policing protests at hydraulic fracturing sites. The Home Office has previously provided special grant funding for the policing of fracking protests. Thank the, the noble lady, the minister, for her reply. I was at Preston New Road two weeks ago, and that's the front line of anti-fracking protests in Lancashire. And the remarkable thing was just how many local residents were protesting, and that's because every level of local government had turned down that fracking application from Quadrilla, and yet the government came in and overturned all those local decisions. Now, how does that fit with the government's manifesto promise to allow local people to decide for themselves? And you've not only broken your promise, but also incurred hundreds of thousands of pounds of extra policing costs, which the public has to pay. Uh -huh. um, the noble lady raises a number of issues, and, and of course, you know, with, with regards to process, you know, peaceful process is a vital part of our democratic society. But it's important that protesters <laughs> protest within the law. I mean, you mentioned Lancashire. If we look at Yorkshire, in the last few weeks, 26 people have been arrested, mm. two of which released under caution. 22 were charged, including assaulting a police officer. But if we could then, you know, turn, obviously, that 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 relates back to costs. If people were able to stay within the law, then maybe the taxpayer wouldn't have to pay for all of these additional policing costs. Yeah, 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 yeah. 